In the month of September, the U.S. economy added 254,000 jobs, blowing away expectations while the unemployment rate fell for a second month in a row. The labor market is strong, the economy is expanding, led by services, and the stock market is holding above the summer highs, which reflects investors' disbelief of an imminent recession. Now, the hurricane put thousands of people out of work, which will translate to an increase in unemployment and a slowdown in economic activity. But the largest threat has been resolved. 45,000 port workers across 36 major ports have come to an agreement averting a major blow to the U.S. supply chain that would have cost billions of dollars a day and supply side inflation from food and equipment shortages. So that threat was averted. The next largest threat is the escalation between Iran and Israel, forcing oil prices higher. An attack on oil tankers and oil production facilities would lead to a supply shock that could take oil prices much higher from here, driving up the cost of energy and adding another headwind for the US economy. So investors are hedging with wartime stocks like Lockheed Martin and Raytheon, along with oil related names like Exxon Mobil and Marathon Petroleum. Now, since the war escalated October 1st, energy, financials, and semiconductors have outperformed the S&P. ExxonMobil leads energy, hitting all-time highs after breaking a two-year consolidation. American Express leading financials, also making all-time highs, reflecting strong consumer spending. Semiconductors led by AMD, which is finally breaking the bullish flag pattern. Palantir leading AI software, closing at new all-time highs. And of course, Chinese stocks are still ripping from bazooka stimulus. So as long as oil doesn't rip to 100, the Fed will keep cutting rates. A strong labor market and bullish technicals mean this bull market can rage higher. However, October is one of the worst months of the year, specifically because of large institutional selling pressure. Mutual funds are a $34 trillion industry whose fiscal year ends October 31st, which means they will sell losing investments to offset taxable gains to reduce their overall tax bill. So this makes October one of the worst months of the year before the Santa Claus rally.